Hi, and welcome to another fantastic training session with Learning to Lean. Let's get started. Today we'll discuss Chapter 3, Six Sigma Roles and Responsibilities. In today's session, you will learn all about the Six Sigma Roles and Responsibilities. Let's look at Team Six Sigma. Take a look at each person on this page. Each person here plays a vital role in the Six Sigma team. So let's take a look at each person, each of their roles and responsibilities, and also educational requirements. First, let's meet our executive sponsor. Our executive sponsor is a business unit leader responsible for profit and loss. Usually, he or she is a director level or above. They have a background in Six Sigma concepts, strategies, overview, and operational definitions. They are responsible for setting direction and priorities for the Six Sigma organization. They allocate resources for projects and set the Six Sigma vision. They monitor the process of the overall program also initiating incentive programs, and they reward successful projects. Next, let's meet our champion. The ideal candidate is typically upper level managers. They have knowledge of Six Sigma concepts, strategies, tools, and methods, and operational definitions. They have an emphasis on management tools, and they're usually a certified ASQ yellow belt. Their responsibility is to be a liaison with senior management. They allocate resources for projects and determine the project selection criteria. They help to remove barriers hindering the success of the project. They approve the completed projects and they help implement change. Now let's meet the process owner. The process owner is a key role in the Six Sigma team. They are responsible and accountable for the execution and results of a given process. The sponsor or the champion could also be a process owner. The process owner has a knowledge of Six Sigma concepts, strategies, tools and methods, and operational definitions. They have an emphasis on statistical tools, and they are usually an ASQ yellow belt. Process owners help select team members and allocate resources for project. They provide process knowledge and review any process changes. They approve those changes and support change management. They implement change and ensure that the improvements are sustained. The process owner is truly an agent of change. Now let's meet the master black belt. And no, we're not talking about karate here. We're talking about someone that is trained in Six Sigma methodologies, statistical tools, basic financial tools, change management, risk management, project management, executive communication, and well experienced in teaching, coaching, and mentoring black and green belts. This is always a full-time position. A master black belt is trained on Six Sigma body of knowledge, lean enterprise synergy, finance for non-financial management, risk assessment, project management, and change agent skills. Master black belts train the trainer and they have presentation skills, communication skills, leadership skills, and facilitation skills. A master black belt typically works on 15 to 20 projects at a time. They provide coaching and mentoring for new black belts and green belts. They address issues of project stagnation, also acting as an SME or subject matter expert for the organization. They review and approve completed projects, and they share lessons learned and provide inputs to rewards committee. Let's meet our black belt. Our black belt is trained on Six Sigma methodologies, statistical tools, basic financial tools, change management, risk management, project management, and are well experienced in managing black belt projects. 
This is always a full-time position. Black belts have an understanding of the Six Sigma Black Belt Body of Knowledge, Lean Enterprise Synergy, Finance for Non-Financial Managers, Risk Assessment, Project Management, they have Change Agent Skills, Presentation Skills, Communication Skills, and Leadership and Facilitation Skills. They have their Black Belt Certification through ASQ. Black belts work with champions, master black belts, and process owners for selection of projects. They address issues of project stagnation and consult master black belts. They help to remove barriers hindering the success of the project. They also update and present project progress to management. They review completed projects and share lessons learned with the extended team. Say hello to our Six Sigma Green Belts. Six Sigma Green Belts are individuals trained in Six Sigma methodologies, basic statistical tools, and process improvement techniques. This is typically a full-time position. However, some organizations make this part of an existing job responsibility. Green Belts are trained on the body of knowledge, lean enterprise synergy, presentation skills, and communication skills. They help to identify issues of project stagnation by consulting the Black Belt and Master Black Belt. They share lessons learned with the extended team. Here comes our Yellow Belts. Yellow Belts are individuals trained to have awareness in Six Sigma methodologies and understand basic statistical tools and process improvement techniques. This is not a full-time position, and most organizations make this part of an existing job responsibility. Yellow Belts have knowledge of Six Sigma methodologies, principles, value, quality tools, process improvement, and teamwork. And finally, our project team members. These team members are selected by the process owner and trained in Six Sigma methodologies, quality, basic statistical tools, and process improvement techniques. They have some knowledge of Six Sigma methodologies, quality tools, process improvement, and teamwork. They support and contribute to Six Sigma projects. They participate in the charter and scope definition. They provide inputs during project meetings and brainstorming ideas. They help to collect data. They follow the DMAIC process and review the approach with the Green Belt and Black Belt. They provide inputs to the Green Belt and Black Belt and process owners during the project. Where are you on the Six Sigma team? What role do you want to be on the Six Sigma team? Taking this training gets you one step closer to your desired role on the team. Thanks for joining me in today's session. Don't forget to subscribe to our YouTube channel so you're the first to know about videos as they are released. You can also find us online at www.learningtolean.training. Thanks and have a great day.